If you join us at a tough situation here at Raleigh Bird Central, bottom of the eighth inning. My opponent, Schiller in red, holding the Raleigh Bird trophy so far. He leaves with one run. I've got nothing. I have managed to put two men on base, but at the cost of two outs. Here's his defense strength, or shall I say, half strength, half weakness. It's a tough situation for both of us. Every true genius is bound to be naive, and that's why Schiller now has evoked the optional, intentional walk rule. Controversial, optional. Loading the bases. This batter, according to the optional rules, cannot use these four random cards. And to make it worse for me, and better for that guy, I've got to show these cards to him that I can't use. So he doesn't have to defend against. Grounder right. Now there's more than one use for every glove zone, but now there's one less tactic that Schiller has to worry about. Home run. Well, it would be nice to get a grand slam now. It's not a threat. This guy can't do it. Infield right. That's these two tiles. Another reason not to defend this one. And bun hit. Well, that's interesting because the other reason to hit a bun hit is a sacrifice. That makes no sense with two outs. So I've got to pick a card. Got my strategy down. Schiller's thinking about what he wants to do. Hmm. Better defend deep, I think he would say. All right. And my card is up the middle. Six and three is nine. Let's see how I do. Rolling a lot for extra luck and yes, Ode to Joy. Batter reaches first base. All runners advance one base. Oh look, Schiller, look, it's a tie game. And this card, out. Schiller has only five tiles to defend the six zones. We got a tie game. These cards go back. All right, to be continued. Because the lion didn't roar, did you think he was sleeping? Thank you.